Yo, hello everyone! Are you ready to kick off exciting soccer matches on your laptop PC? In this video, I will guide you on how to play FIFA Mobile on your laptop PC in 2023. Using an Android emulator, we will install and set up FIFA Mobile allowing you to enjoy the training gameplay. So, let's get started. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So guys, for you to be able to play FIFA Mobile on your PC, there are several ways. First of all, FIFA Mobile is not, of course, the normal FIFA. So you can't really find it on Steam or either Epic Games or Origin. You can like somehow find it on Microsoft Store or Xbox Community. Otherwise, if you'd like to have the same energy, like the same phone uh, thing, like the controls and everything, you'd like more likely to have a simulator. So what are the simulators that we have at the moment? And they are like the most the best uh, on the platform and the scene at the moment. So there is Bluestacks, there is Mimo, and there is of course Nox Player. So let me show you each one of these. And do not worry guys, they are like the same thing just different version like how can i explain it it's like having iphone 11 iphone 12 and iphone 13. so it doesn't really matter which one you get and uh, which one you don't get they are all doing the same job and they are actually on android so uh, if you're not familiar with android they are very very easy to use so you don't have to worry about it so here we go guys let me just make it in English all right so this is blue stack guys if you don't know there is two versions of blue stacks there is the 10 and the 5 so blue stacks 5 is actually made for people with low component PC weak PCs and blue stacks 10 is for the ones who got a really good PC on the other hand there is Mimo Mimo if you can just click here and see this uh, page you will notice that it is made like it's made like analytics about how good it is how about it, better it is for on the like cpu and gpu users uh uh beside the other like platform as like uh nox player uh, lt player and blue stacks which is i'm going to show you how to download in this video and here the gpu uses as well and there is also nox player as you can see this is how it looks like it is a very good emulator as well so what's are we going to do next is in my case go to bluestacks click on here to download it or you can just click for example in the main page let me just go back click on bluestacks 10 click here and then click on this button right over here the next thing that you have to do is click and install the software just click on next 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 make sure guys that on all of these softwares you will have to need to have like a gmail account in case you don't have one make sure to create it before you even get to download it to download them because it is necessary you will not be able to use google play and the google store without a gmail account since it is like the most important thing to create an account with and now let's go to the installation process of the game so guys right after you install the bluestack simulator or any other emulator as i showed you before the next thing to do is simply click on the search button for over here search for FIFA Mobile and then as you can see click on this FIFA Mobile or FIFA Soccer so it depends on you I'm going with FIFA Mobile so I'm clicking here and then I will install it in the app player as you can see it is now being installed on my PC it will not take that long of time uh, about around like uh, one minute for me so it depends on your connection overall and here we go and guys please make sure that your PC is capable of running the game if not, you can simply just head into like ChatGPT, as you can see, and ask it if you can run the game. So, can I run? So, here it is. Can I run FIFA Mobile on my PC? And then, all you have to do next is let me just close this real quick. Go ahead and check. Let me just reduce this as well. So, you can simply just go to this PC. And click on properties through here and through that you can check your preferences so specifications so i have here a5 here we go let's copy this put it over here and then to 32 gigabyte of ram and let's check uh like advanced system settings i guess or device manager 
and let's see which graphic card I have at the moment okay RTX 3060 so I'm going to do the same thing RTX 3060 Ti and then let's see if it's gonna work so yes you should be able to run FIFA mobile uh, without any issues your system specifications are more than capable of running the game smoothly uh, the A5 10 400 f is a 10th generation Android processor blah 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 so it is actually going to work for me so do the same thing before you get to start with this uh, download so it will not be crashing on you and having a lot of, lot of problem so here we go now I have installed the game and now the item is not available in my country so I have to actually use a VPN to actually download it since I have logged in as uh, a Chinese person I guess so I will have to use VPN in case you had the same problem just use whatever VPN it exists on the internet for example there is Brave private web browser there is no VPN there is a bunch of other VPNs as Proton VPN and then the next thing you'll find yourself doing is downloading the game so i have here a uh, proton vpn let me just check that i am not connected to it so let's go to the home page and yeah i have here everything i think i am connected to something on proton vpn so let's try to be connected let's just try to disconnect or something like that proton vpn settings uh VPN accelerator like that let's do this quick access connect random and here i'm going to turn off everything so to check if i'm going to actually be connected and here we go let's try now to go into fifa mobile it is still connecting me to japan so i have to actually wait for it until it is fully updated and then it will be working for me smoothly so this is not a problem actually for now but overall guys let me just show you real quick if you can notice the game once you open it it will start downloading the real files once you actually download it on like your uh, phone or something like that through google play it will not download the real game it's just like the application has been downloaded but the files it, they are like more than four gigabytes so you, once you install the game you will have to keep waiting and waiting and waiting until the game is fully downloaded so here let's uh, check if it is uh, updated yep it is so just connect to whatever server you think of so it's free let's connect and until until uh, in the connection so here we go and once you are connected successfully so connecting to your state so here as you can see here and once you are connected successfully guys it doesn't really matter next what to do you just have to head up to the fifa mobile and download it and this problem you might have it only with blue stacks so you can find other uh, options as nox players and memo as i said before i showed you all of these kind of different uh, emulators so you don't have faced any problems and in case you have faced any problem you have a solution for it so there is not only bluestacks to actually start uh, using it for the game there is bunch of other options that you can go for so don't just download bluestacks uh, from fifa mobile as we can see and overall guys if you have successfully downloaded fifa mobile uh, it will open for you normally and it will show you like kind of like the same controls that you have in the phone the only difference is each uh, like layout or each control you will have kind of like layouts over it with the key like a shortcut for it so instead of playing using like your mouse on these controls and moving them you can simply just click on your keyboard and play like you're playing any soccer game or any game on your pc using keyboard and mouse so this is a point that you have to put in mind and for uh, fifa mobile requirements for those who are asking and wondering you can simply just come here and here they are one gigabyte from quad core with clock speed of 1.5 gigahertz and Android OS version 5.0 or later so here we are so bluestacks app player is the best pc platform so these are some confirmation about fifa mobile but overall let's go for, for chat gpt it will give you the correct statement for your pc and if it is going to actually work or not so thank you guys a lot for watching and see you guys in the next tutorial